This is the introductory video to the World Music module. This module is a great opportunity for students to step outside of their comfort zones and to challenge themselves to play some new and possibly unfamiliar styles of music. Now whatever style of music you find yourselves working with in the future, the repertoire we cover here is a rich source of, of new ideas and language that you can incorporate into your own performance and composition. Now we've got two key aims in this module. Firstly, we want to give you uh, a working understanding and ability to perform and hopefully an appreciation of these styles such as samba and salsa and the cultures where they come from. And secondly, we aim to strengthen your rhythmic facility in order that you can play this music. There is nothing harmonically challenging about the pieces that we've chosen. The real challenge is in the rhythmic complexity and the syncopated nature and interconnectedness of all of these rhythms. So the approach we're going to take is a more holistic one. Each session is going to start away from the instruments and we're going to be standing up as a group and we're going to be walking in time, clapping the clave associated with each piece and singing the song. Now you're going to hear me talk a lot about clave. Clave means key in Spanish and it's predominantly associated with, with Cuban music but it's commonly used now to describe the, the core rhythmic element uh, that all the music is organized around in whichever style that we're, that we're currently discussing. So I've made a prep video for each piece. Uh, each piece I will explain the clave and that's really the first port of call. I'd like you to, in your own time, stand up, walk in time, clap the clave and sing the tune. If you understand the clave, everything else will follow, I promise you that. So, why is the body so important? Why is standing up and moving so important in this music? Well, um, these styles of music are dance, they're dance forms. Um, and if they're, not, uh, if they're not specifically dance forms, then they're rooted in a dance form. And as performers, if we want to make people dance, then I think we have a responsibility. We're connecting with our own bodies and understanding how the music works. So we stand up and we clap and we sing and we play. Now, there's a more practical reason for standing up and walking in time. And that is because um, it helps us uh, regulate where we are in the music. And what I mean by that is if I count everybody in in the session and we walk or we if we're sitting down and we move our feet in time, then whatever happens around us, the syncopated rhythms, which often don't play beat one, we know where beat one is because it's, it's where we started walking. Your body can act like a pendulum and keep you in time. So engage with that. Now, this is the third year now, so we've only got a lead sheet, so there's, there's quite a bit of investigation for you guys to be doing in your own time. So listen to the tune, look at the chart, try and work out all the parts for yourselves, use my introductory videos as a guide, ask your tutors, but also get on Wikipedia, get on YouTube, and try and investigate the culture and the music around each of these pieces that we've chosen. So enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing you.